Um, last game of the season um, just shows that uh, form at home is important, scoring goals at home is important. Um, I, that, that was the most important thing of the day because taking that forward, then you're building something for the team. And I've got to say, away from home, even the last match, 350 away supporters dressed to kill uh, <laughs> in, their, in their yellow outfits. It was terrific. Um, so there's a lot to take from this season. Well, Lloyd's been a, a really good recruitment. Um, as he was on the pitch, putting his foot in it and, and always on the front foot and battling away, his approach to recruitment um, in an in a enterprising way, really, his knowledge quickly uh, about the situations, he reads it well, he has good judgment. Uh, Abu came on the back of that from Southampton and he's done well. And it builds up confidence that higher place clubs can trust us to look after them and give them opportunity. Jim, and obviously, statistically speaking, the most successful season in the club's history, sitting here as a custodian of the club. How does that feel for you to, to have that sort of achievement under your belt, another achievement like that? Yeah, we've had some highs coming through to this point, but and they were highs. You know, the two Wembleys will always be special. But League, what, League Two and standing in our own corner, uh, building a crowd through that, um, is a new a new high as well, and it feels good. It feels good not to have a panicking or concerning last month. Yeah, and obviously, you know, you speak about the success that, that you've had in your time here. You know, the Wembley visits, the trophies that have came with that. This season is, an excess, is, a, is a success, but it hasn't got a trophy in it. How is that for you to, to deal with? Because, you know, you, you want something to, to mark that team, but it's more landmarks of high finish, high points tally, that isn't an actual trophy to get you. I think uh, there's there's enough pleasing about being mid-table in League Two. When you think of the growth of the crowd, the relationship between players and crowd, the atmosphere around the ground. Um, last match, we, we lost 5-3, but we entertained and everybody stayed behind last, last game of the season. Uh, it, it's great to see. And I think that is here to stay now. I think we've built a, a relationship. And I've got to say, away from home, even the last match, 350 away supporters dressed to kill uh, <laughs> in, their, in their yellow outfits. It was terrific. Um, so there's a lot to take from this season. Um, Hospitality is full every match. Um, I think the big turning point in terms of increasing not just revenue, but atmosphere was finishing this stand and it was a pity it was the end of January before we actually used it but I think the the wins against Bradford and Gillingham was all part of this atmosphere that it, it, away fans can create atmosphere for home fans it becomes a rivalry and they start to shout and uh, and the, the ground becomes alive and I think that's helped the players at home and at one point uh, perhaps through March we, I was looking we were second for success um, away from home and 19th at home. Uh, that got sorted a little bit from those two fixtures and we built forward uh, and fully enough, uh, it reflects in the home attendance. Yeah. We just hit 3,000 on the last day, which uh, if we can sustain that, that's a complete new level adding in the away fans. Uh, will make us a, a um, a bit of a threat at home because cop rose. Yeah, and obviously, you know, you look at a start of the season, travelling to Doncaster, a lot of thoughts going through your head, but did you envision, envisage this level of success both on the pitch and off it that is coming the last, you know, eight, nine months? Um, I think because we'd had a hard work four years, three years, and this has been a fourth, uh, you, you're cautious about everything still building, still wishing that things go well. There was a bit more certainty about uh, our solid performances, experienced fullbacks, centre-backs, showed through, um, goalkeepers. Unfortunately, we had four at one point because of injury, which doesn't do the uh, budget any good, uh, but that was just quirky. Um, and 
you know, uh, Belshaw coming back um, has, has sparked another um, change in, in lift. Yeah. And do you think the timing of that was, was important in terms of, of when Belly came back at, you know, the, like, such a character for fans as well as, as players in the dressing room to have something like that come back when it was kind of backed against the wall, another injury, and we had to find a solution quickly. We were, we were in trouble with that because we got through two out and um, twice. We never had two keepers, fit, experienced keepers fit together, so we got into a fourth. And at the time I was thinking, well, um, how are we going to manage this? But he, he quickly uh, just slipped into the side and showed lots of personality. Yeah, and then obviously, you know, you look at the start of the season, was that a motivation for you, knowing how many people had got us off? You see the predictions a lot of people had as lower than where we actually finished. So, but that's the side showed the quality. We showed the quality at home and away to prove people wrong. Yeah, proving people wrong was good. Um, I did notice there were about six teams at eight to one for going down. So it wasn't just about us, um, but nevertheless, we were amongst it. Um, and really, never we had a slow start, but we, after that, we've been fairly consistent at, at knocking in the points. And yeah, within a couple of matches from the end, we were still in the shout of playoffs. Uh, and I know Simon's happy with, um, with his squad and there's a continuity coming for the next season, which must all go well. Yeah, and obviously you speak there about that, that slow start, but you still had belief in, in what we were building here. So how is that for you to, to experience that slow start, but also try to keep a level head about it and, and know that the good things are around the corner. Yeah, so. I mean, it didn't last long. We, I think we went uh, second, third and fourth games, we lost, um, it set a trend, but we quickly get, quickly came out of that. Um, and uh, that spell where we went playing a dozen games of football, my favourite game was Stockport away, where their director said to me after the game, they were top of the league, uh, we were passing it for fun, so were they. And he says, well, we'll see you in League One, which was a real compliment to that we got the courage to go there uh, and pass the ball around uh, and succeed by doing so. We also showed, though, that we could change once that wasn't working, for whatever reason, that we could change formation and we could go to all the top clubs and get something from a game, which kept the momentum going. Rather than falling off the, the success board, we were able to take breath. I mean, I mentioned Mansfield once um, at 9-2, but the very next game, same team, uh, came out of crew with uh, with some uh, with some glory, really. Yeah. And obviously, you speak about the style of play. How important has that been for you this season to watch in terms of, of progress and seeing off the pitch, on the pitch, but personnel, but you actually see the style of play and the way we go about our business. Has oh. that been pleasing for you to watch? Yeah, we see a lot of professional Premier League football, so we're brought up on it. And it's nice to see a passing game um, at a pace. I think the players enjoy playing on the track. It's a good surface. Um, and definitely it rouses up the crowd. Yeah, and obviously you, you spoke about some of the hardship of that season. You know, Mansfield, Blackburn as well, a heavy defeat. We had a little difficult situation with Willard Carmstrong as well all factored into this season, so do you think the stats of the season probably don't tell the full picture in terms of the adversity we've overcome as a club, as a group, to, yeah, I, to achieve what we have achieved? Yeah, we, we got we had to get over quite a long drawn out situation with Luke's transfer, which isn't ideal because he, he, he wanted the move and we were happy for him to go forward. Um, and it was kind of a four months of... Um, of disappointment for, for him and disappointment for us because we couldn't move on. Um, and uh, it, it, it had to count, I suppose. 